This program is rated G and is suitable for general audiences. George, keep the rest, it's for you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Loving you, loving you around the clock. My client, Mr. Garcia, is a decent man and a good landlord. And he has made every attempt to be civil in this matter. However, Mr. Bruce refuses to vacate the storefront. We feel my client is entitled to moving expenses. He simply can't afford the cost of relocating all of his merchandise from his rug store. Considering Mr. Bruce has been using the space to run a lucrative electronics franchise on the side, we beg to differ. Unfortunately, his lease stipulates he's only to operate one business within the store at a time. Mr. Bruce, you are to vacate your store within one week's time. Court rules in favor of Mr. Garcia. Thank you, Your Honor. If you could get me the lease agreement for the McCoy property, that'd be great. McCoy lease agreement? Please be in touch with the zoning department since they haven't gotten back to me. Uh, zoning department? Rude. <laughs> and remember to dress comfortably tomorrow since you, me, and 15 lawyers will be covered in caramel. Uh, I don't know how you'd have time to spearhead the food bank, Claire. Because I have the best paralegal in town, that's how. <laughs> Oh, you have to leave by 7. You have dinner reservations with Ben at that new sushi restaurant around the corner. Ben made reservations there? Well, I took the liberty of making the reservation, assuming you weren't going to work until midnight. I should have known. Ben is not the best at trying new things. But sushi will expand his horizons. I can feel it. Thanks, June. You're too good to me. Oh, no need to thank me. Maple's the one that made us come over. She's got T-R-E-A-T-S on the brain. Oh, well, come on, Maple. Okay, well, come on. Come on, Maple. Come on. Uh, 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 Sit. Uh, uh, uh. Sit. All right. <laughs> so how's your day going? I've already had two drop-ins this morning. Ooh. Yeah, I'm working on damage for goat chewing through the porter's fence. <laughs> and filing patent paperwork for maple-flavored bath bombs. Ooh, sounds a lot like your old job. Yep, us uh, Silicon Valley lawyers are often dealing with farm animals and uh, <laughs> bath products. Well, <laughs> now that your practice is up and running, I really hope that you'll finally take some time for yourself to date. I don't know if I have enough room in my life for another lady. She is pretty cute. <laughs> Um, don't you usually restock today? My supplier's prices went up again. You know, I could only afford so many for the week, so. I am trying to track down, though, the name of an old vendor of ours. I'm hoping that they might be able to, you know, make me a better deal. Well, I do know that Uncle Joe definitely had his own way of filing things. The man had many strengths. Organization was not one of them. Oh, man. <laughs> Aunt Margie, uh, I think this is a deed for your farm. Really? Yeah. I don't think in all the years we lived there that I ever set eyes on this. It's weird, uh, the perimeters to your property look pretty big. What does that mean? Do you think I owe some taxes? If anything, it means you own more land than we thought. Oh. You know, let me do a, a bit of investigating. 
I'm gonna talk to the uh, county clerk's office tomorrow. If you need to start invoicing me, you start invoicing me. I've already paid us enough in dog treats. Huh. Come here. Come here, Mabel. <laughs> okay. All right, Mabel. Say okay. bye to Margie. Thanks, honey. Bye, baby. Bye. <laughs> bye. Good luck with the bath bombs. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Looks like I'll be too busy and have too much work to make my dad's fall fest. Ugh. And I feel terribly because it'll be the second year in a row that I've missed. And I love fall in Vermont. It's my favorite time of year. I'm sure your dad will understand. Your career is really important to you. So, what's new at the city planning office? Any update on that idea you had about the addition to the museum? Actually, I have a huge meeting about it tomorrow. All the regulations people are coming in from Albany. That's great. But that means you'll miss the event at the food bank. That's tomorrow? Yeah, remember I reminded you about it last week? I must have forgotten. You're probably better off without me, though. You know I hate getting my hands dirty, and making caramel apples sounds pretty sticky. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Would you want to get together this weekend? I got this new puzzle I am so excited to try out. I is... think we're on different pages here. Is this about the spicy shrimp you wanted to order? No. Well, actually, kind of. Uh, <laughs> no, look, I, th I think you're great. You are, and it's nothing you did wrong. We've had a nice time this last couple months, but I just feel like we are two different people who want different things. Okay, to be honest, I've been thinking the same thing. After that third trip to the planetarium, I maybe got an inkling that our interests and priorities weren't exactly a... Aligned. Yeah. I hope this doesn't mean that we have to be out of each other's lives. You know, that we can still be friends. I'd love that. Good. Friends can still help each other look over an agreement they're about to sign on a new condo, right? <laughs> yes. Friends can do that. Great job, everybody! By the time we're done, we will have prepared over 200 treats for hungry families in the greater New York City area. Hey, Dad, can I call you back? Yes, ma'am, but better you know sooner than later. I just got served with a court summons. Wait, you're being sued? You remember Margie from next door? Yeah, I know Margie. Margie, who once tried to buy a piece of your property and you flat out refused? Well, that woman's gone and found a deed claiming that she owns a chunk of our farm now. Which chunk are you talking about? The whole Fall Fest plot. That can't be right. That's what I said. We've had this farm for over 100 years. But she's got a lawyer involved, and I, I don't know what to do. Don't worry, Dad. I'm going to get on the first train in the morning. Are you sure? I know how hard it is for you to leave work. You know what? We are gonna find a good lawyer up there and we are gonna get this figured out. I'll see you tomorrow. Look who's here! Look who's here! Oh my God! It's Jay! Oh goodness! Oh, oh Betsy! I'm so happy to see you. Who are these girls? They're so big, I don't even recognize them. That's what happens when you only get home once a year. They grow like weeds. Beautiful weeds, but <laughs> yes, they are beautiful. Oh, I mean, it's kind of a fall miracle that you're here outside of a designated vacation. I wish it were under different circumstances. Mm -hmm. Can you believe what Margie's doing? My dad said he would never sell the Fall Fest plot for all the money in the world. It's part of our family, that land. It's going to be okay, Claire. 
I have a feeling that this is all going to reach a peaceful resolution. <laughs> Let's get you home. Yeah? Yes. Come on, come on, Let's go, girls. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you still seeing that guy from the city planning office? Actually, <laughs> uh, we just broke up. Oh, no. You know, I thought I'd be more sad, but I'm actually fine. We weren't really a match. We work better as friends. I'm glad you're feeling so positive about it. I bet there are dozens of other nice, smart, and accomplished men back in New York just waiting to meet the amazing Claire Hart. Oh. <laughs> Probably hundreds. Thousands. <laughs> Millions? Oh. Sure, even millions. Oh, that's a lot of coffee dates, huh? <laughs> hey, welcome home, sweetheart. Dad. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Things look great. Well, you don't call me Handy Hank Hart for nothing. Nobody calls him that. Hey. <laughs> hey I think you girls each need to pick out a pumpkin before <gasps> they turn into squash. Come on, let's go choose two good ones oh, for you. Goodness. <laughs> How much longer are you here for? Oh, probably just till tomorrow. I wish I could stay and represent my dad, but I just have too much work to do. So I will find him the best lawyer I can, and then I'll head back. OK. Pick one that looks good to you. Oh, ho! Oh. I hope you get to relax for at least five minutes while you're here. Maybe read a magazine, take a bath, go carve a pumpkin. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> For those pumpkins. Oh, they did indeed. Oh. We'll let you two catch up. <laughs> Bye, girls. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> oh. oh. How about we go into town for some cider donuts? How about you show me that summons from Margie? <sighs> then that uh, nephew of hers showed up to talk to me, and I said, I'm not going to say a word. I've got to call my daughter in New York. Wait. Patrick Harris is the lawyer in town representing Margie? That's the one. I haven't seen that guy since high school. You do remember we were competitors in everything, right down to the last pop quiz. I remember. It wasn't just your mom helping you make all those flashcards for civics class. Dad, can I borrow your truck? Maybe I can take care of this myself. Take it. Sorry to keep you waiting. Patrick? Claire. It is really good to see you. You too. You look different than in high school. Uh, oh, well, yeah. <laughs> My parents made me join the rowing team in college. They were worried I was playing too many video games. Why don't you take a seat? Hello? You seem surprised. How do you mean? Oh, I bet you didn't think I went to a top law school. There is something about your very laid-back professional appearance that would convey that. Yes. And the fact that you're practicing law. Well, here. Let me guess. <sighs> you work in D.C.? Corporate law, real estate, all right? Except it's New York. Oh. Let me guess. You clerked for the Supreme Court, got recruited by a big West Coast firm, and decided that corporate law wasn't your vibe. Something like that, yes. I'll get right to the point. This lawsuit of Margie's won't hold up in court. I understand that sometimes old deeds turn up, but the measurements can be off and the property line's inaccurate. Well, I'm sorry to tell you this, Claire, but it looks like we have a real claim. The deed's been accepted by the courthouse, and they seem to think it's newer and more precise than the one they have on file for your dad. We've had our farm for three generations. Don't you think we know where the property lines are? I guess the judge will have to decide that. Okay. 
Well, there you go, sweetie. Thank you so much for meeting me here. You're so welcome. I mean, I'm happy to help. Well, it means a lot to meet my dad. So remind me again of the particulars. OK, so our neighbor, Margie. Margie Wright, the town floor. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to have to stop you right there. Already? I just started. My husband does the books for Margie's business, so I'm afraid I couldn't represent your dad. It's a conflict of interest, you know? I see. Drawbacks of a small town. Everyone knows everyone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Hey, Brad. I just wish that meant no one sued their neighbors. Candy corn? Oh, no, thank you. So you've represented someone in a property dispute like this before? Yes, back in 92. Or was it 82? I can't recall exactly. Hmm. Do you happen to know anyone else in the area who's had a more recent case like this? Yes, Patrick Harris, a nice young man. Just moved back into the area. I call him for help with my computer all the time. He's actually representing the opposing party in this matter, so. Thank you for your time, Mr. Bellevue. I really appreciate it. While you're here, Claire, would you mind taking a look at my computer? I was playing a game of solitaire this morning, and uh, it seems to be stuck. Sure thing. <laughs> See, they redid the high school track. It is state of the art, totally pristine. Nope, wasn't aware of that. Just thought you might want to know, since you still hold the school record in the 200 meter. Mm hmm. Sorry, am I bothering you? Last time I checked, you were suing my dad. So yeah, I would say that you are bothering me. Hi. Can I have a cup of coffee and a pumpkin muffin, please? Yeah, of course. Oh, sorry, we just ran out of muffins. Just the coffee. Pumpkin muffin to go. Thank you. You're welcome. I called it in. Of course you did. I'm sorry this is the way we're meeting again, Claire, but I'm just trying to do the right thing. By trying to take my dad's best piece of property? It looks like it wasn't ever his property to begin with. You know what? I'm going to represent my dad myself in court. All right, then. I'll be seeing you. Great. Great. OK, then. OK, then. I hope you remember that I was the debate team state champion. Sorry, I don't. I think I was off winning the science fair. Hmm. Claire Hartoff is June speaking. Hi, June. It's me. Hey, Claire. How's it going? Did you get your dad all situated? I'm afraid not. I'm gonna have to stay until his court case next week. Oh, well, you have some vacation time. If ever there was a reason to be away, believe me, this is it. Don't worry. We'll cover things on our end. I hope your dad's case works out. You do have Wi-Fi up there, right? Of course I do. It's not like I've gone back to the 1800s. Jim?
of maple trees. We're also seeing beech, elm, ash, and yellow birch, which make up that magical fun cocktail for fall. Here you go, hon. The D's for 3516 and 3518 Sugar Crit Drive. Great, thank you. Can I take a picture of these on my phone? We have a policy against cell phone pictures. I'll take one for you. Sometimes it takes a while to warm up. Number two. Would you like some butterscotch? Sure. So those two are still pretty close, huh? Yeah. Yeah, close as can be. Can, I, can we just throw something out there? Is it a little awkward that my best friend is suing my wife's best friend, or is that that's just me? It's a property dispute between my aunt and her dad. It's a totally different situation. Nick! Yeah. Hi! Oh my gosh, hi! Oh, it's so good to see oh, you. Oh, it's so good to see you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Betsy is over the moon that you're going to be in town for a while. Hi. Hey. You two are friends. Uh, we actually started hanging out once Patrick moved back into town. How nice. Well, I will see you guys later. I have a lot of work I have to do. Bye. 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 That wasn't uncomfortable. Nope. Not at all. <laughs> These are so good. Thank you. How could you have failed to mention that Nick and Patrick Harris are new best friends? We just always have so much to catch up on when we talk. I guess I just never had a chance to bring it up. I definitely didn't know he was representing Margie, that's for sure. And it also would have been nice to get a heads up that he turned into an L.L. Bean model at some point after high school. <laughs> I'll let that one slide. He's a good guy, Claire. He came in earlier this year after his uncle got sick. And after his uncle died, he just never went back to California. He does a lot of pro bono work around town. I don't think he has a girlfriend, though. Nick says he's super picky about who he dates. It's nice that you alerted me. Especially because he's the last person on earth I would ever go on a date with. Oh, yes! Mm. Hey, can I ask you a dumb question? Why does Margie want a piece of the heart farm? That farm has some of the best soil in the county. I mean, she would be guaranteed successful and expansive flower beds. Business would finally get some solid footing. It sounds kind of mean. I mean, a few years back, she and my Uncle Joe tried to buy a piece of Hank's property. I made him a really, really good offer, but uh, it didn't turn out so well. Hank was offended they would even consider using part of his family's land. But now that it may not have been his family's land to begin with, I feel Margie was meant to have some of that space. Hank would still have his house, the maple trees, and a good amount of the property on the north side. Just not the fall fest plot. <laughs> you would take the man's pumpkins? Not all of them, just the ones that fall in the disputed <laughs> property area. I'm not a monster. What? I am going to choose to remember the good things about you, like your volunteer work. Trivia starting up in five minutes, everybody. Five minutes to trivia for any and all interested team. Sign up with me over there. We should sign up. What? Do we win anything? Just a free bowl of chili. I love their chili. <sighs> Look at all these. I uh, hey, want to play some trivia? No, I don't. Come on, man. It'll be fun. Uh, come on. I don't know things. All righty, here we go. You're going down, honey. I didn't even want to play. Neither did I. I All righty, listen up. Here we go. First question. Who was Henry VIII's last wife? Catherine Parr. That is correct. Boom. Patrick and Nick. Point. OK, settle that. All righty. What is the speed of light? One foot per nanosecond. Ding, ding, ding. 
Well, some people do actually end up waiting for the multiple choice options to be read. <laughs> Not necessary. No, oh, I can see that. Go on, Kevin. Okay. Carl Weathers. 88 Dodgers. Finish colonial. It's like they're in high school again. Tell me about it. First, the chimney sweep. The selfie stick. Mm. Nim one, pearl two. Mm. Oh, Mac, baby. Okay, this is it. This is sudden death. Uh, whoever gets this right wins. You need a water break, Harris? No way, Hart. I got a good feeling about this one. Who did Time Magazine select as their Man of the Year 1982? The computer. The computer is right. Hey, everybody, how about a big round of applause for Nick and mostly Patrick? Ugh. Blood pressure hasn't been that high since I gave up iced coffee. Thank you. All right, uh, uh, Jeannie, Jeannie, let's get these guys set up with their free chili voucher, shall we? All right, nice work. That was a tough one. It was a little bit of a trick question. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. They would have kicked me out of Silicon Valley if I hadn't remembered some random computer history. <laughs> I forgot how much fun it is to compete with you. I think you mean to beat me. No, I mean to compete on a level playing field. You and Nick should go mm. eat your chili. Uh, I have a feeling he's about to relinquish his to his better half. <laughs> April, hey, I didn't know you'd come to trivia night. We gotta go, babysitter. You wanna come over for dessert? Yeah, that'd be great. You can only have a coffee if a plan comes to you in the next five minutes. You know that farms aren't exactly my area of expertise, right? I know that. But I do love a challenge. I know that too. So if you can find a way to prove that our property line is different than what Margie's claiming, then I could make a real case to the judge. Let me do a little more excavating and I'll get back to you. Thank you, Ben. Thank you so much. I owe you a big favor. Hey, you're helping with the lease agreement on my new condo, remember? I feel like I should throw in some caramel apples too. <laughs> Don't doubt me. But seriously, I'm watching my sugar intake right now, so just don't. <laughs> Could you add another pumpkin muffin to my order? That's really not necessary. I insist. It's a consolation prize for that devastating defeat at trivia last night. Oh, honestly, I'm devastated. You don't need to buy me anything. You really should get one of these while you can. A leap peeping tour from Delaware is gonna waltz in here pretty soon and buy them all up. Fine, I accept. So do you go to Betsy and Nick's often? Sometimes we meet for dinner or ice cream. You meet for ice cream? Or you know, I'll, I'll go to the girls' gymnastics stuff. You go to their gymnastics stuff? Yeah. You know, if you lived here, I'm sure you'd come too. Two pumpkin muffins and a coffee to go. That's us. Oh, and thank you so much for those SAT bucks, Patrick. See, I'm not such a bad guy. You may be the Robin Hood of Waitsford, but I haven't forgotten we're going against each other in court. Well, <sighs> thank you. No problem. Talk to me, Ben. Well, looks like that smokehouse should be about 50 yards to the right of your property. Huh, how far was that from the oak tree? Not even 30 feet. Hang on, Dad. Dad, what's that? Look it. There used to be a barn there, but it uh, collapsed in that bad storm a few years back. Do you think that could have been a smokehouse? Ding, ding, ding. I think we just found a piece of your property, Hank. Woo! <laughs> I put a lot of paperwork. 
apply for the patent and uh, get back to you when we're all set. All right? Thanks. Hi. Hey. She's very pretty. Well, I don't usually describe my clients as pretty, but uh, I suppose you can. Oh, she's your client. Fun fall fact for you folks. The leaves change their colors when the cold sets in. And the leaves stop their food-making process for the tree. Please, uh, Keeper, let's yeah. move to the left to avoid pedestrian traffic. So, watch out. Uh, so, uh, so you're saying? We've decided to file a countersuit against Margie. Oh, you have, have you? I found viable evidence that shows that part of our property is on her side of the fence. So the plot thickens, huh? I expect no less from you, Claire Hart. You don't have to make it sound like we're running against each other for class president. Again. Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> This was always mom's favorite part, wasn't it? It sure was. <laughs> oh, she used to get such a kick out of naming all the pumpkins. Oh, yeah. Like that one there would be, uh, Clyda. <laughs> and this one would probably be Beatrice. Exclusively lady names only. No room for a Jim or a Steve. <laughs> she did have a way of making everything fun and special. Hmm. <laughs> I can't believe you've run the Fall Fest every year for, I don't even remember how many years. What can I say? I love it. <laughs> and it's a pleasure to have work you love. Yeah. copies of the court documents. Oh! So you're familiar with them when we go into court next week. Oh, I appreciate it. It's great. Take an inventory? Uh, sort of. Just seeing what flowers I might have available for the shop next month. But if everything works out with the case, I'll be in a much better position. More land, more flowers, not only for my own store, but I can sell them to other florists as well. Of course, Hank Hart may never speak to me again. Well, you probably heard that Claire came into town to represent him. Yes. Have you said hello to her yet? Uh, something like that. Well, if I recall, you were pretty fond of her in high school. And yeah, Margie, that was about a million years ago. Well, I always thought she was a really nice girl. Very determined and yeah. very driven, mm -hmm. but polite, cute. Well, I hope she knows this isn't personal. That may take a bit of convincing. place else I would rather be. Why does Margie have a booth here? Her store is about five feet away. She's not selling anything. She invites people to make bouquets for the hospital. What a nice idea. She might be suing your dad, but she does have some good qualities. Betsy, hi. <laughs> I'll take two, please. Really? 
I didn't peg you as a wreath guy. Well, I am definitely a wreath guy. I need one for my office and one for my house. Very festive of you. Let me wrap him up. It's perfect. Okay. Surprised you're not at home, getting ready for the fall fest. I'm surprised you're not at the office pouring over the details of our countersuit. Well, you know, a man's got to have time to shop for fall decor. <laughs> oh, you know, one of my kids has a job working for your fall fest. You'll probably run into her. Not my actual kid. Kid I coach. I coach the debate team at the, the high school. <laughs> what? What? Why is that so funny, huh? I just think it's interesting. And why is that? I just think your arguments were never quite up to par when we were both on the debate team. Ooh, is that so? Huh. Well, you know, maybe you should stop by this afternoon and show me how it's done. Maybe I will. Still in the auditorium. Four o'clock. Sharp. See you there. Come on, Maple. My latest customer. Wasn't that nice? The man likes wreaths. I'll give him that. <laughs> I forgot how good this is. Do you not have ice cream by your house? We do, but it's not quite the same, because we're just not as close to cows. I'm going to be a cow for Halloween. Baby, that's so cool. Mommy's got to start working on your costume, huh? What about Maddie? Maddie's going to be a black cat, aren't you? <gasps> oh, classic. I love it. Mm. Did you like that? <laughs> is it good? <laughs> Don't get too far ahead, girl. Stay where I can see you. Has downtown always been this sweet? It's so lovely. <laughs> I know it's nothing compared to Manhattan. Although we did just get another brewery this summer. I bet Nick was thrilled. <laughs> he and Patrick just about cried when they heard there were going to be artisanal pretzels on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> it sure was nice of Patrick to buy some of my wreaths today. Yes, it sure was. Anyway, you might be, I don't know, possibly the least bit. No, not interested. He's sort of perfect. Betsy, please, we are about to be on opposite sides of the courtroom. Why do you have to be so practical? Because I'm a lawyer? Fine, I said my piece. I'm not going to argue with you. Wait, I just remembered. I can still make debate team practice. Debate team practice? Patrick invited me. Thank you for today. I'll see you soon. Bye, girls. Bye, Aunt Claire. I thought you said you weren't interested in him. I'm not. All right. Great arguments on which countries have the strongest democracy. And we might even have time to end with which teacher at Taft High School needs to retire. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, please say hello to a very special guest. We are lucky enough to have the one and only Claire Hart in our midst, state debate team champion and captain of my award-winning team. Claire is going to give you guys a few pointers. Oh, no. I just came to watch and bring donuts as a fellow appreciator of debate. Oh, come on. You're already here. Please share what you know with the team. <laughs> first things first, everybody know the number one rule of debate? 90% of winning is confidence. Uh, yes, could you two debate for us? I don't think, um... Yeah, I, you know, I, I don't think it's... It, it would be such a good learning opportunity to see you give your arguments. Yeah, okay. All right, well, let's get a topic. Who's got the best cider donuts in town? Zelda's or Joe's? I got Zelda's. Joe's all the way. Let's get it started then. Ready? Go. And Zelda's has refined their recipe. For While Joe's has brought innovation to town. For 20 years. With its locally sourced menu. And they serve their classic product fresh every day. Creating a donut that's not only healthier, but 
Be delicious. It was a tough decision. You each made very convincing arguments. But we've agreed that Claire is the winner. Thank you. Congratulations. Well, I'd say that's enough for today. See you all next week. Bye, everybody. Well, I guess that makes us even. I guess so. <laughs> Thank you. It was a very compelling argument about Joe's you gave. Oh, well, thank you so much. Your entire argument was obviously more compelling. I know, because I won. Oh, you're always so gracious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep, here it is. I knew they had it up somewhere. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh. I look so unfriendly. Mm, and I look so orthodontic. <laughs> <laughs> If you had told me then that we would be going against each other in court someday, I would have thought... Victory is mine! <laughs> more like, oh, that makes sense. Just a continuation of our entire high school experience. Mm. Why do you think we were so competitive with each other? Because we both wanted to be the best, and neither one of us would back down. So you admit it. I was a worthy opponent. I suppose I could have been a little more of a team player in high school. Yeah, I probably could have been a little less obnoxious, so. Looks like we both changed for the better then. I don't know. You still seem pretty unstoppable. Oh. Oh. Forgot my water bottle. See you at the Fall Fest, Claire. Thanks for inviting me today. Thanks for coming today. It was really fun. Yeah, it was. And I won. Yeah, did. you have good news it's impossible for me to determine the property lines without seeing the actual property oh so I figured I'd come up there and take some measurements myself you're coming up to the farm yeah I think it would be a valuable exercise for an employee of the City Planning Commission and I hear Vermont has some of the best stargazing in the country I thought I could bring my telescope you know it'd be fun <laughs> By all means, bring the scope. Great. <laughs> See you soon. My father built that fence when I was a kid. And that barn we had to redo a few years back, but it's been on this land since the 1700s. Sounds like there's a lot of history here. You got that right. We didn't start growing pumpkins here till 1920s, and the rest of the crops didn't come in till much later, thanks to my wife. She was smart. She knew this soil was one of a kind. Hey, you want to take a ride on the tractor? I can show you the perimeter. Oh. Uh... Yeah, come on. Yeah. We'll see you later. Have fun. Oh, great. Those go right over there. Hey, 
How are things going? Well, the deed measurements do seem off to me, based on the creek and evidence of some structures that have been taken down. So good? Considering the fact that I can't explore Margie's yard, I'm doing the best I can with approximations. We'll take approximations. Well, great. Then I should be able to determine what the property line is by tomorrow. Ben, I can't tell you how much we appreciate you doing this for us. This has been a great exercise. And who would have thought I'd have an excuse to come to an actual fall fest? <laughs> this place is amazing. It's so fun. I'm about to run to the store in a little bit, grab some more caramel apple supplies. Can I get you anything while I'm there? No, thank you. I'm good. Can you feel it? Love is in the air, folks. Studies have shown that men and women find each other more attractive during the fall season and more relationships and engagements begin now as opposed to other times of year. Follow us this way. You here? Oh, it's okay, guys. No, 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 let me get this for you. Oh, thank you. That's where you park. I actually didn't drive. Such a nice day, I thought I would enjoy the walk. Ah, uh, no. Well, you're not carrying both of these home all by yourself. Are you sure you don't have anything better to do? Well, you know, Maple might, but last I checked, my schedule was clear. Oh. Betsy said you were in tech law. You miss it? No. Uh, not really. You weren't sad to give up a big corner office? Well, you know, that life, man, I was always focused on legalities and the bottom line. Here I get to go see my mom and dad for dinner, have a dog, walk someone home. Sounds like a dream. I have wondered what it would be like to move back here. You know, it is possible to make that transition. My life here in Vermont as an adult has been, uh, fulfilling. For the most part. Well, thanks again for the help. Anytime. You got it? Yeah. You know, the Fall Fest is open to everyone. Even people suing us. Come on, Maple. There you go, Maple. Come on, let's go. Hey. Hi. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, no, 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 don't, don't stop. You stay there a long time? Ah, uh, no, just got here. Well, then you missed some of my best dance moves. I bet. Hey, uh, does Claire have a boyfriend? Why, I thought you weren't interested in Claire. She's dating some guy named Ben. The city planner. Uh, he carries, like, a ruler in his pocket at all times or something? Why? Eh, uh, no reason. So you came all the way down here to interrupt my leaf-raking dance session for no reason? Yep. Glad that we had this talk. Me too. I'll be ready for you guys around 624. 628. 628. Sounds great. <laughs> It's like you really enjoyed showing Ben around. Yeah, he's a nice guy. But, but, I can see why he's not the nice guy for you. <laughs> Having another person around who's interested in the farm, that's, that's a good feeling. Yeah. Kind of reminds me how much I love this place. I love it, too. I know you do. We've had quite a life on this property, haven't we? Yes, we have. I don't know how you feel about New York, but at some point out here, you kind of become your surroundings. 
No. As you can see, I've become this land. It's hard to distinguish it from myself. I'm gonna make sure we don't lose it. Opening day special, Lauren. Two free ginger snaps for every kid. Well done, Sarah. Okay. Thank you. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Hello. Hi there. Mm, that smells good. Keep it warm. Thank you. Good right. job. Here's some samples for you. Happy opening of Fall Fest. Have a great time. I figured it out. I think I finally figured it out. And? According to my humble assessment, it seems you do own a part of Margie's land, but she also owns a sliver of yours. The property lines as they are now, they only need to shift about a quarter of an acre. Ben, this is great news. I'm guessing your dad will be glad to hear it. He's gonna be ecstatic. Oh, no, I cannot wait to tell him. Thank you so much. Hey, you should stay till tomorrow. See the fall fest at night. Yeah. I could do that. Whatever you want, it's on the house. Fair warning though, pace yourself on the kettle corn. It has a lot of sugar. Oh, I have been waiting for you guys. Ugh. Thank you. Stop it. <sighs> Evie is growing up so fast. She, she's starting to school this year, right? I know. What are you doing here, Miss Fallfest? I just came to grab some donuts for the guys at the farm. We have a break before we set up for the nighttime activities. Wait a minute, what are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be cleaning out the garage with Betsy? <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, this meeting's done. Um, thank you for your time, Patrick. I learned a lot about the law. <laughs> Don't tell me. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I thought you didn't like Zelda's donuts. Well, I heard a rather compelling argument at team debate practice that uh, made me change my mind. I see. Claire Hart. Oh. What a nice surprise. How are you doing, sweetie? Good. I was wondering if I could get a dozen donuts for the guys at the fall festival. Absolutely. I got a batch in the oven with your name on it. Why don't you have a seat? I'll bring you a donut while you wait. Thank you. <clears throat> Mind if I join you? Sure, sure. I'll... Take a seat. Actually, there is something I should talk to you about. Okay. So, my father's fence should actually run along here, right by Margie's oak tree. Thank you. And Margie's fence should go here where the creek juts out. Well, I guess that could be the case. But, uh, you know, why don't you send me the assessment? I'll do my due diligence and I'll check it out. As you should. But I'm pretty sure it's accurate. It was done by an engineer from the New York City Planning Commission. You seem pretty confident. 90% of winning is confidence. Remember? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Margie's lucky to have you. You two must be close. She and my Uncle Joe never had any kids of their own, so... I've always been pretty close to them. Almost as close as I am to my own parents. <laughs> so when Uncle Joe died, I just didn't want to be so far away anymore, you know? I can understand that. When my mom passed, I, did, I wanted to stay. 
but she had always encouraged me to go to a big city and try a proper career. So I decided what would be best for me was to go back and keep plugging away. That might have been the wrong choice, though. I don't know. You did what you thought was best. There's nothing wrong with that. A dozen cider donuts to go. I better get those. Yeah. I'll be in touch. All right. Talk to you soon. I didn't ask. What brings you to town? I'm helping my dad with a property dispute. You don't say. It's almost over, though. Thank goodness. Well, if I were you, I'd find a reason to uh, stick around. Hey, Claire. Hey. Want to do the hayride? Of course I do, but someone would have to take over the face painting. I've painted some faces in my day. As long as no one asks for a unicorn, I'll survive. Come on. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> well, hello. Could I have a unicorn? Really? When was the last time you rode this together? Maybe just after Evie was born? I am so glad we are rectifying that. <laughs> what happened to Ben? I warned him to pace himself with the kettle corn, but poor guy, he got a stomach ache. Well, I think he went to bed about an hour ago. <laughs> we need to hide this before Nick gets here, or he's going to eat all of it in one fell swoop. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Patrick, what are you doing here? He was leaving Margie's when I pulled in, so I told him he should come. And I, uh, I heard everyone's welcome at the Fall Fest. You heard right. OK, everyone, hop in. It's about to take off. <gasps> oh, I can take maple for you, Mr. Harris. Thank you. Love. No problem. Have fun. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you like the rain, because it means we can stay. Canceled our plans, but no, I'm not going to. You know, I don't think I've ever been to your fall fest at night. Great, isn't it? Something very majestic about it. Hmm. Yeah. There's a, an energy in the air. It's hard to describe. You know what you mean? You guys, let's take a picture of the four of us. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Look, get in, get close, get close, get close. There you go. All right. Everybody say kettle corn. Kettle corn! Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Fest. Hello? Claire, I'm sorry, did I wake you? No, uh, not at all. Oh, you're usually an early riser, so I assumed it was okay to call. Of course, what's going on? The partners asked me to reach out. We're having an issue with the McCoy property, and they're hoping you could be back in time for a meeting tomorrow. I know your dad's court case is coming up soon. Actually, we've sort of figured it out. I am so glad to hear that. I'll see you tomorrow, then. Okay, see you tomorrow, June. Morning. Morning. You were talking up the track so much, I had to try it for myself. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. I make it out here almost every day before work. Well, I am hoping it's visited. Any chance you're up for a race? You look like a worthy competitor. Yeah. You're on. Regretting that cider donut from yesterday? Never. Never could I ever regret that donut. All right. 
ready. Set. Go. Hey! I didn't say go yet! No! No fear! Oh, come on! Oh, interference! I, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come on! No! Scandal on the field! I call a do-over. Oh, no, 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 no. No do-overs. Oh. Winner, winner. <laughs> You know, I wonder how high school would have gone if we were friends and you know, not competitors. <laughs> would have been a lot easier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad we can be friends now. Are we friends? Is that what's going on? Oh, definitely not. We are. We are still the fiercest of competitors, right? <laughs> I should probably go. I've got to get back to New York, get to the office. Now that the case is cleared up, I don't really see reason for me to stay around. Sure, sure. Uh, well, you know, stop by if you're going to be around for Christmas. Yep, I'll do that. I knew it. I knew you liked him. This doesn't strike you as wrong. He was suing my dad. Might still be suing my dad, no matter how accurate the assessment is. Could you humor me for five seconds and see what a good match this is? I have a whole life in New York. Can't be hanging out here on weekends, having maple ice cream with Patrick Harris. You are amazing, Claire. But sometimes you don't always have to be the most practical, prepared person in the room but I've always been that way. I just don't want you to miss out on something that could be great. Even if it is with someone who's a little bit inconvenient. Hey. You must have been our good luck charm this year. Bill said we had record sales for opening day. I don't know about that. It might have been Ben. Mm, I'm pretty sure it wasn't Ben. I'm sorry Rick has kept me away so much, Dad. You don't have to be sorry, sweetheart. I'm so proud of you. Your mom would be, too. I wish I didn't have to go. Sorry to interrupt. Are you about ready? I want to try and get ahead of traffic. Yeah. Thanks again for all the help. You're welcome to come back here anytime. Thank you. Uh, I'll see you downstairs. Okay. Mm. Ready, go! Hey! Yeah, yeah, you did it! Ah, girlfriend. Mm. Hey! Claire, get off okay? I think so. She and Ben were trying to beat traffic, so I'm sure they just left or are about to. So how long have those two been together? Oh, Claire's not dating Ben anymore. He was just helping her out with the property lines. Wait. What? Why am I the last to know everything, huh? <laughs> You're feeling isolated. No pounds of frustrated. But I love you as you are. Love you as you are, yeah. And don't worry about the hate. Don't fit in those boxes they create. Patrick? Oh. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for Claire. Any chance she's still around? Sorry, you just missed her. Is there something you need? Yeah. No. Don't worry about it, honey. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Claire? I didn't realize you were here. <laughs> yep. Thought I'd get an early start. Oh, thank goodness you're back. I think we could make our own corn maze out of all this paper. <laughs> Would give the office a little fall of flavor. I'll talk to the higher-ups. We missed you around here.
Thanks so much for the help, Betsy. We really appreciate it. Oh, no problem. We need some more cider over here, guys. Yes, and lots of it. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Right there. Dad! What are you doing here? Well, it's not every day your dad hurts his ankle on his busiest season of the year. <laughs> what about work? Work will always be there. There is only one Hank Hart and one Fall Fest. Now I arranged it so I can work remotely for a while. I don't know what I did to deserve such a good daughter. Come on, let's get you off that foot. Well, what do you think? You said you found this in another one of Uncle Joe's boxes? Well, I figured it couldn't hurt to keep going through things, see if there might be something else that could help. I'm just not sure what this map is supposed to be showing. Um, this could be your property, but it could also be Hank's. Oh. I'll look into it, Aunt Margie, I promise. Okay. Oh, Maple, Maple, what are you doing? What huh? are you doing? Maple, what are you doing there? What do you got? Pumpkin home for your mom. One of the big ones on us, okay? <sighs> hey, you with the boot. No labor, remember? I was just. You know, get over to the pumpkin carving station where you can prop that ankle up. Okay. Hi. Hi. I heard you came back to help your dad. Sorry about his ankle. Thanks. Luckily, it's not too bad. Just a few weeks recovery. That's good. What brings you by? Can we talk for a minute? Um, just the two of us? Yeah, sure. I had a great time with you last week. I had a great time, too. You know, ever since high school, I was kind of hoping we'd run into each other again and you could see I wasn't some geeky guy trying to one-up you on the SAT. <laughs> And that I wasn't still some ruthless competitor. I never thought that about you, Claire. I've always cared about you. What did you want to tell me? Well, we, uh, we found new documents and uh, a map. It contradicts your assessment. It's from 1943. It's uh, an official record of your grandfather paying a fee to his next-door neighbor for farming on his land. See the land marked on the map right here. I looked into it, and I found out that that next-door neighbor moved a few years later. The land was vacant for decades until the next relative, my Uncle Joe, moved in with Aunt Margie. But the property lines, Ben found the measurements. I talked to Ken Bellevue, and he told me that the creek flooded so bad when he was a kid that they had to drain it. There was no way that Ben could have known to measure from the old creek lines, and 
not the new ones. You can, you can see the original creek lines on the map here. Claire, I'm really sorry. You had to keep digging, didn't you? You couldn't let it go. This farm means everything to my father. It's his whole life. I know. I know it is. But I have to show this to the judge. I have an obligation to protect my aunt. And I have an obligation to protect my dad. Claire, you don't have to do this. Do what? Walk away. We knew that there was a possibility that only one of us could win. This is about so much more than winning, Patrick. <sighs> I have never been more humiliated. I was so sure I was right about the property lines. And I think I was expecting some big romantic confession from him. I mean, I'm sure he would have liked to say something more personal after he got out that first part about the lawsuit being back on the table. Well, we can never be together, not now. I may not be a lawyer, but I know that Patrick has to represent Margie's best interests, no matter how he feels. Can you just withdraw from the lawsuit? Let somebody else do it? Go tell Claire how you feel with a box of cider donuts. Are you kidding me? She is never gonna forgive me for this, and I don't blame her. Well, at least you get to see her in court, right? <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. You did what you had to do. You know, it was too important to Margie not to exhaust all of our options. Maybe you haven't exhausted all of your options with telling Claire how you feel. I already tried to tell her I was sorry. Yeah. Well, you're the smartest guy I know. <laughs> He'll think of something. Is that what I think it is? I know we usually wait until the end of Fall Fest for the special ones, but I decided to get an early start. You want to start with the bad news or the good news? The good news is I made you this delicious treat. The bad news is it seems as though Ben's assessment wasn't exactly accurate. What do you mean? Patrick Harris found a document at Margie's that disproves it. Apparently, Granddad paid a fee to farm on a piece of the neighbor's property as early as the 1940s. Then that neighbor moved away. Granddad continued to farm on that piece of land, and everyone just forgot it wasn't his. Are you saying that that land has always belonged to the house next door? And we don't own any of Margie's property? I'm sorry, Dad. My goodness. I'm gonna have to rectify this situation. What? I'm sure my father thought he was doing the right thing at the time, providing for his family. Now I've got a decision to make. What's the right thing to do for our family here and now? Mom used to say there's the right thing to do and there's, there's the right, right thing, thing to, to do. do. I was just leaving this for Claire. Make sure she gets it. Thank you. You know, I just wanted to say I'm sorry our families came together like this. I, I never meant to hurt either one of you. I can understand that. Thank you. I'll see you in court. 
always wanted to say that. Thought you could use a pick-me-up. Oh, thanks, Dad. You feeling ready for tomorrow? As ready as I can be. I've never gone into a courtroom prepared to give it all up. Huh. And to think I'm the client that's making you do it. <laughs> can I ask you... What do you think of the Harris kid? Patrick? Yeah. You know, if the circumstances were a little different. It's hard to forget his role in all this. He seems like a nice young man, trying to help his aunt. I don't know, Dad. Do you always get to choose which clients you represent at your firm? Well, no. I still think of you as an honorable person. You have gone soft on <laughs> me, Hank Hart. I just like to do the right thing. I think that young man does, too. He left this for you. Night, Dad. Night, honey. of you, Dad. I'm proud of you, too. And I'm proud of both of you. Can't wait to see you in action. All rise for the Honorable Judge Howerton. Please be seated. All right. Let's talk shop, folks. I've had a chance to review the deeds and the additional document and map submitted by Mr. Harris. I see that the countersuit has been withdrawn. Counsel for the defense, do you wish to make a statement? Thank you, Your Honor. I'd like to begin by taking a moment to acknowledge my father's many years of hard work on the Hart family farm. He knows that piece of land better than anyone. Every tree, every rock, every pumpkin vine, these pieces of paper don't show the living history of that place. Putting on the Fall Fest for our community has been one of my father's greatest sources of joy and pride for over 30 years. And I believe it says a lot about his character that he came into this courtroom today ready to give that all up. He's ready to offer the piece of disputed property to Margie Wright in the desire that it right the wrong that has occurred. We respectfully request that he's allowed to finish this year's Fall Fest and that it closes as planned at the end of November. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Ms. Hart. Mr. Harris, your response. <clears throat> your Honor, my client would like to reach a compromise. My client will withdraw the suit in regard to the property line if Mr. Hart is amenable to running the Fall Fest together. 50-50 split. As the court may know, my client is a recognized businesswoman in the area and would have quite a bit to offer in ways of a partnership, including flower sales for the Fall Fest. My client would also like to determine, in good faith with Mr. Hart, an area of land to grow flowers for her business purposes. Thank you. Your Honor, a moment to discuss with my client? Talk about an 11th hour surprise. You think she's sure about this? You better say yes before she changes her mind. <laughs> Your Honor, we are pleased to accept the offer. It's my pleasure to draft an order stating the agreed upon settlement of the two parties. Court stands in recess. Dad. 
Two would join us for a celebratory drink, a uh, toast to a new chapter. Yeah, I think we'd get for that. Right, Dad? Hello, Hank. Hi. Welcome. You know, Claire just finished making a whole new batch of her fantastic caramel apples. You guys can help us make them disappear. I, I think we have some cups over here. You want to help me get those, Margie? Sure. Okay. I'll take maple. Thank you. Has there always been a petting zoo? Uh, we put that in a few years ago. What do you think? Oh, it's nice. That's a really sweet element. Can I show you something? Yeah. This is my favorite spot on the farm. Really? You can see the sunset over the mountains, the shadows fall over the trees, and of course it's prime spot to see the pumpkin patch. It's stunning. I've been thinking about what exactly it means to win. Oh yeah? <laughs> like losing to a worthy opponent at trivia night. <laughs> Still a win. <laughs> and learning that I am not always 100% right, also a win. What about losing in front of your entire debate team to a girl you've had a crush on since high school? Is that a win? What did she say? Said, I'm not a crush. So when you have to head back to New York, to be determined. In the meantime, I am available for a trivia rematch. <laughs> 